This tutorial will help you learn how to design your own virtual locker. So in my example here, I have lots of images and pictures that answer these bullets on the left-hand side. So first thing you need to do is choose whether you want to create a locker or a larger cubby space, whatever you prefer. So in my space, I created a Bitmoji. Now that's something that I have on my phone and I, I just uploaded and copied and pasted. Um, but for you guys, most of these images you'll be able to find off the internet. So I think the most common way for students to insert images is to open up Google and type in what they're looking for. Maybe they're looking for a picture of some pizza. And then you click images and you see lots of images of pizza. And then you usually right click, press copy, and go back to your Google Slides, right click, and press paste. Right, and that's generally how most kids do it. You can shrink this pizza. Did you see what I just did there? I, I grabbed the right hand corner, corner with, with my left mouse button. mouse button. Or clicking down on the mouse pad on the trackpad and dragging another finger to the size I want. By choosing a corner button, it stays in proportion. If I choose a middle button, it will stretch it, widen it, lengthen it, right? So typically I always resize by grabbing a corner to keep it in proportion. Now once I resize it, I can place it in my locker. Maybe that represents my favorite food. Now this picture of this pizza is okay, but it has that big white box around it. So what I generally do is I'll look for images um, through the insert image feature in Google Slides. And I'm going to search for a picture on the web, and I can search for pizza, or I can put this other word in as well. Transparent pizza. And that means that all of my options won't have any white boxes around them. Uh, so maybe this is my favorite one. So all you have to do is left click one time, and then choose insert. And then there's my pizza. Now, this one happens to be gigantic, so I certainly need to minimize it. Now, even when I make it smaller, you see all this space over here on the side? It's kind of what we call dead space. So now I'm actually going to crop my photo. I'm going to do that by using this cropping tool here. Left click once, and then I'm going to drag this black bar on the side. And that just takes the edges of the image in. And maybe even a little on the top and bottom. Shave a little off. There. And now when I have other pictures around it, if I'm clicking here, I'm not constantly clicking the pizza, right? If I want to put another image there. So now I'm going to drag it down into my locker where I want it. Okay. So insert, image, search from web. That's where you can find a lot of images. Another way um, is to insert image, upload from computer, right? And this will open a dialog box of where you can find wherever you store your photos. Maybe you store them in your Google Drive, or maybe you store them on your actual uh, laptop if you're not using a school Chromebook. But if you are using a school Chromebook, which most of you are, and you have some pictures on your phone, what I would do is I would go to my phone, I would find the picture that I want to upload, and I would share it to my Google Drive, either on my phone, if you have that app, or I would email it to myself. So I'm going to open an email here that I've sent of a family pic, and then I would download it. And here it is in my downloads, uh, or I can um, click on this button here, add to drive, adding to my drive, right? Now you got to note the name of it. This is image 1644. If I opened my Google Drive, then insert image drive, I might have a lot of things to scroll through. Or what I can look for is recent, right? Um, but I can search uh, 1644. And there it is. Click it once, press insert, and then resize it. This is a picture of my family. Maybe I want to tilt it a little bit. 
So up here, there's a little circle that's kind of away from the rectangle. So I'm going to click it and drag my mouse either right or left, depending on which way I want to rotate it. So you can resize, you can rotate, and you can search for all different images by choosing insert, image, search the web. All right, have fun, and let's see what you can come up with so that we can get to know each other a little bit. Good luck.